coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Hey man, shout out everybody out there on Team Reggae Pam, man, I appreciate the love. Hey, I appreciate the support. We out here, man, 33 years of prison stores, we pushing P. We pushing positive energy all day, every day, 24-7-365, man. Big love to everybody who support me. Big love to everybody who support the platform. Um, I definitely appreciate you. Uh, man, big love and RIP to my man, Young Low Key. Um, this video, man, is uh, dedicated to him because it's the first video I'm making after his passing. So uh, rest in peace, my brother. He was a part of TBP Nation, man, and we appreciate him, and he will be missed. Um, man, you know, life is short, man. Life is short. We got to enjoy it, man. We got to support each other, man, and we got to love each other while we're here. Uh, with that being said, man, today's video, man, I, I, I don't know why this came across my mind, um, but it's in my mind, and I usually have to get it out of my mind, and usually when I do that, I, I talk to y'all. So... This is a crazy video, man. This is one of these crazy situations. I know a lot of people ask me a lot of questions, and a lot of people, you know, want to know about the different altercations and the things in prison and all of these tough guys, this, that, and the third. And what I wanted to let y'all know is that there's no um, criteria to who uh, will be uh, in a violent altercation in prison, man. It could be anybody. You know, anybody. A lot of things go down with a lot of different people. I can remember this incident right here. And this involved two, uh, what you would say, uh, boys, man. Two, two uh, uh, gay individuals, right? Who who identified as, you know, being the girl, the girly girls in the situation. But I can remember they had an altercation. And you see this a lot in prison. You see a lot of the... You know, the homosexuals, they be beefing with each other. Either it be over a man, or either it be over just jealousy, or it be over something. But they, they get into it. You know what I'm saying? What you might call a cat fight. They get into it. Sometimes it get violent. Most of the time it doesn't. The reason why it doesn't is because most of the time they got a, they got a man. You know, and the man is going to try to quill that. He's going to try to keep that down because he don't want to be without his people. You know, so if they get into a physical altercation, then nine times out of ten, they go into jail. And if they go to jail, then that leaves the dude out there without his people. And he ain't going to have that. This is the reason why a lot of dudes will step to you or hurt you or do something, you know, crazy to you for, you know, offending or, you know, opposing their people. You know, I'm telling you right now, this is fact not fiction anybody who's been locked up for any significant amount of time will you know will back me up on this man you can get uh unalived real quick messing with somebody people cussing them out calling them derogatory names or uh, you know just just you the dude coming at you you know and it could be a dude that ain't really like that but for what he trying to uh represent to the people he will be like that and he'll make a boo he'll make a move that he wouldn't normally make he'll do something that he wouldn't normally do you understand when he in those type of situations i've seen it before i've seen it uh several times but in this incident that i'm talking about i ain't gonna name the names because these are people that people already know who've been in prison and the names are uh irrelevant to the to the to the uh to the story but these two uh boys was beefing with each other i i do not know and i cannot say uh definitively what they was beefing about but they was beef and you would see them bickering and you know arguing every day and then when they went on the yard they doing the same thing calling each other the b word calling each other you know oh you nasty or you ain't got nothing or you ugly anyway or you ain't got no business even now, how you call yourself a girl you look so manly and man they used to be going at it and it was kind of to be honest you know sitting inside the penitentiary it was entertaining and it was funny because the stuff they were saying to each other people that's not in that type of life we listening and we laughing you know what i'm saying but they deadly serious so 
And it, it, it turns into a lot of, uh, you know, oh, I'll F you up. Oh, you ain't going to do nothing to me. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, you run up then. Run up. Run up. All of this is going on. It's like the stuff that you see out, out here now on the Internet. But this is going on in the penitentiary between two boys. So each one of the boys had a man. You know what I'm saying? They had a man. You know, and I would say one one of the boys' man was he he, he was certified. He he'll do something. To you. The other one was in question. You know what I'm saying? He was in question, but he didn't look like a sucker. But his personality and his demeanor didn't you know pose a threat to nobody. He was low key. He stayed out of the way. And when you dealing with them boys. It, it's, it's hard to do because a lot of them boys are, are flamboyant. A lot of them boys are, are, are talkative. A lot of them boys create a lot of situations for themselves just for the way that they talk. And a lot of dudes in the penitentiary ain't going to go for all of that, you know, that mouth almighty stuff. So they beefing with each other and they going on. This is going on for probably about a week. They going at it. And every time they see each other, be this or be that or, you know, or stay out my way or don't say nothing to me. What you looking at me for? What you looking at me? You need to look in the mirror, looking like a mess. Looking, I mean, they <laughs> they was getting it. They was going at it hard as on the what. So this this is I can remember this. This is like on a Saturday morning when we get outside wreck. So we go outside, and um, they over there and they 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 argue. They walking laps and they pass each other. And they are oh f you f you blah blah blah. They going back and forth. They going back and forth. I'm standing over on the fence hollering at my homeboy. We just talking. We just out there kicking it. We came out there to kick it. I was gonna work out after I finished talking to him. But this is just going on. It's going on. So then on the compound that we was on, you got a little side. You got two little side courts. This little side court right here in the corner, and this little side court right over here in the cut. And then you got the big main court. Over there on the on the biggest part of the yard. So in these side cuts is where people usually go to rumble because you usually out of sight of the camera. So people go over here to rumble. People go over there to smoke weed, drink wine, gamble, do everything because you basically out of the view of the camera, you know, or or or, or the tower. I should say the tower. They can't really see you right there, which poses a whole nother uh, question, you know what I'm saying? How do you have a yard, a prison yard designed where the tower can't see you at? This is where people get unalived at. This is where people get stomped out at. This is where people get hurt at, beat up, crushed, because the tower can't see them. And as I've explained to y'all on many occasions, the tower they really don't care. You know what I'm saying? They really don't care. It only gonna come into question if somebody get unalived out there. If they get unalived out there, then the person in the tower automatically gonna lose their job. But like I said, most times they not watching anyway. So what you got these two boys bickering and bickering and they keep on walking laps and they keep on passing each other, then they square off one time, right? And you can see them pointing and talking and hollering and cussing. You could hear it from the distances I was at, but you couldn't hear everything that they were saying. But we right over here by where one of the uh, basketball court cuts at, where people go to get it in at. So both of them start coming over there, and they go over in the cut. <laughs> so we sitting there, we look, we like, oh, man, they might be getting ready to rumble. Two boys, they might be getting ready to rumble. So we, we looking. So we stop our conversation, and we looking as is other people, right? But you try not to stare because you draw attention. But we looking, but we just... Acting like we are here talking, but we looking at what's going on. So they get over there and they popping off at each other. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, B? What you gonna do? Man, you ain't gonna do nothing. I told you you ain't gonna do nothing. You you ain't nothing. Blah blah blah. They going back and forth. F you, F you too. Oh, you don't do nothing but suck this and do that and use a nasty trifling. And they just getting it. And then say, well, well, run up on me then. Run up on me. So, man, they, they squaring off. They pump faking at each other. And next thing you know, they start just throwing wild. <laughs> so, they hitting each other. They rumbling. They rumbling. Right? Now, both of their men is on the yard, but I guess they doing other things. So, then, while they swinging at each other, swinging at each other, the shortest one, his man is on the basketball court. He comes over there. He start playing. He walks over there. He see him fighting. They rumbling. They ain't doing nothing but a bunch of punching. But if some of them don't say connected, and they are boom, pulling on each other's shirt and everything. And then the boy reach in his pants and pull out that Bethlehem. Now, it ain't no big one, but it's big enough. 
that it's going to hurt you and it's going to get the job done. He pulled that thing out, man, and they just scrapping and swinging at each other, and he stopped poking. Just swinging like that, just wow. And he was hitting them because the other boy had his head down just swinging, but he hitting them all in the back. And then you see his shirt started to turn red, and then you know he got something in his hand because you could see he bleeding. And the boy was hollering like, ah, ah, ah. And he just like, grabbed onto his shirt, and he still was hitting them. And while he doing that, his man, the one that's getting hit, that's his man that's standing there. He see that. He runs over and he just hauls off and bam and catch him. And he just hit him, bam. He just fell down. And we on the concrete because they're on the basketball court. Bam, he fell down. The little Bethlehem fall out of his hand. And he's just laying down there. He go over to his people and he looking at his back. You all right? You all right? And he's like, ah, ah. And like it hurt. So as he doing that, the other dude, somebody must have told him, the boy that just got dropped, they had the Bethlehem, his dude come running up. So when his dude running up, he looking at his people, he see him running up. So he running over there like, what's up? What's up? And he run over there to them, and he trying to get them up because they like unconscious, like, because he got a solid jump. And he go, and he trying to get him up. Ask him, what's up. So then, dude, see him. Then he see him. He like, man, what's up, man? What you do that for? What you do that for? So boom, he like, what's up? What's up? So they square off, and then they start clutching. <laughs> they, they clutching. The boy who had got punched, he trying to get up. The other one, he checking his back because he hurt. So when they clutching, he get up and run over there and start helping this man. And he the one that got the holes in him. He run over there and started helping his man. Both of them was double banking old boy. You know what I'm saying? And this, the, the joker that got punched, the boy that got punched, he trying to get up. He trying to get up. He set up. He's sitting on his on, on his butt. And he right there on the concrete. But he discombobulated. He discombobulated between the punch and his head hitting that cement. He discombobulated. His man getting the, the bank put on him right there. You know, and now you got so many people on the yard, which is a bad thing. You don't supposed to do this in prison, but everybody do it. When it's that type of drama going on, then everybody's hurting. So you can see on the yard, just, just imagine if this is from the tower. You can see all of the crowds of the people moving to one spot. This is how they know what's going on. So when they see everybody coming over there to look, the dude was... He, I ain't going to say he was he won't, he won't holding his own. I ain't going to say he was holding his own. He was just under too much pressure because he got two people just coming at him. The, the, the dude, the dude, the boy, man, he throwing some solid jones. The boy just, just throwing wild. But he just bagging up and boom, he on the fence. And he coming off, they grabbing him, they kneeing him. And he just trying to hold on. His people still sitting there and they're like this. Blood dripping all out his nose, dripping out his mouth from that one shot. You know, uh, probably his head was probably bleeding from hitting the concrete. I couldn't see the back of his head, but I saw that blood just dripping all down, and he just sitting there like he defeated, you know. So when the crowd started moving, that's probably what draw the attention of the booth. So when the booth seen it, they hit the horn, bah, bah, and everybody report to the report to the gate, report to the gate, clear the yard, clear the yard, clear the yard, bah, 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 clear the yard. Then the police coming. The police unlocking the gate. They running in this way. They running in that way. It's two ways to get inside the fence. They running in. They running in. I'm talking about 12, 12, you know, two more, three more, five more. They coming. They coming. Clear the yard. Everybody get off the yard. Get to the fence. Get to the fence. So the dudes, they still trying to get at old boy because they going to jail anyway. They know they going to jail. They still trying to get at him and he holding on. They finally get him down to the ground. They get him down to the ground. They punching him. They punching him. He curl up. Like in the fetal position. Then the, 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 the dude, his man is on top of him punching him. He's standing up. He kicking him. He kicking him. Right? They run over there. They jump on him. They get him all down on the ground. We walking out. We we heading to the gate like we supposed to do. But everybody walking. <laughs> everybody walking in slow motion. <laughs> so they can try to see all they can see before they get off of the yard. And they end up getting them all down, getting them all down and everything. And like I say, this is how it is when they come. And even the even the boy this this he's still sitting over there bleeding. And when they run over there to him, they automatically grab him like you see on the on the TV show, roll him over, pin him down, put and he hurt. <laughs> but they don't care. You know what I'm saying? The boy that got stabbed, he hollered, I'm stabbed, I'm stabbed. <laughs> that 
They don't care nothing about that. They grab him, slam him down on the ground, turn him around, cuff him from the back. He tell me, I'm stabbed! I'm stabbed! Give me the medical! Give me the medical! They don't care nothing about that. They gonna cuff you up. He land on the ground, on his belly, cuffed up, hollering, I gotta go to medical! I gotta go to my bleeding! I'm bleeding! And, you know, so it, it just was a melee, man. But it's, it was all because these two boys was beefing. They was beefing. They was beefing hard. And it came down to they thought they was going to scrap it out. But one of them pulled that, 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 that thing out. And that turned into a whole other situation. Now, I don't know if their men knew from the beginning that they was actually going to fight. But they are, both of their men knew from the beginning that they actually been beefing and arguing and popping at each other. Now, I'm guesstimating from the way I know about how penitentiary is. I'm guesstimating both of their men and told them, don't go out here getting in no foolishness or leave, that, leave them people alone. Don't worry about them people. Ignore them people. But <laughs> they're doing what they want to do. They don't like each other. When they see each other, they're saying something to each other every time they see each other. So it was going to come to a head either way. But I guess they feeling that they got the power in the situation or in the relationship or whatever it is they got going on. If they tell them don't do nothing or don't you know say nothing else to the people, then they're not going to do it. They're not listening. And that's what it ended up resulting to them being in confrontation. And then that boy, them in confrontation. All four of them went to jail. You know what I'm saying? All four of them went to jail. And, 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 and probably three of them out of the uh, uh, four went to medical. You know what I'm saying? Old boy man went to medical. He went to medical. And the boy got stabbed went to medical. Only one ain't go to medical probably went to jail was the the, 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 the one who got uh, stabbed. His, his man. You know what I'm saying? He probably the only one ain't go to medical. You know what I'm saying? The rest of them went to medical. They had to go to medical and get, you know, get serviced. So, it was a crazy situation, man. It was one of them situations, man. Everybody was talking about for weeks to come. You know what I'm saying? Months to come. You know, and, and I ain't seen none of them no more. I think all of them got shipped. All four of them got shipped about the compound. You know what I'm saying? Which, like I say, it defeated the purpose anyway. Because that's what the, the dudes, this demand don't want to happen. They don't want to be separated away from their people. They don't want no altercation. They don't want to get into no situation themselves because of the main fact that they don't want to lead their peoples. You know what I'm saying? They done got into a, a, a part of their bit the way they do their time where they're comfortable. Now they got to go somewhere else and start over. You know what I'm saying? And if they into that, you know, having some peoples and stuff, that ain't guaranteed when they go to another camp because they go to another camp and all the, the boys on there probably done, they got a man. It's very rare you're going to have a boy on the compound that don't got a man. You understand me? And he ain't going to be able to get away from that man unless that man get gone. If somebody else try to get him, they got to go through the dude. And that's a war. And then that if, if the war gets super violent, then both of them probably go to jail. And then one of them got it anyway. So that's the dynamics of that. So that's why them dudes don't want to lose their boy because they know they might can't get another one. You understand? So when they got one, they're going to hold on to them and they'll go to war with you over. Because if they're going to lose in the way, they're going out with a bang. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's crazy situation, man. But all of them ended up going to jail. Um, I ain't seen none of them no more. They talked about it forever on the compound. You know what I'm saying? They was rumbling. They was getting it in. And that ain't, you know, like the only scenario. Boys, them, they get the rumbling a lot. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they get away with it just fist to fist and they don't go to jail. Sometimes they don't. But if you think them boys won't pick that Bethlehem up too, they will. And they use it on each other as well as use it to help their man, i.e. boo-boo. You know, boo-boo would have killed you over Charles. It ain't no ands, ifs, or buts about it. It ain't no doubt in my mind. Boo-boo would have killed you over Charles as Charles would have killed you over boo-boo. There's a whole lot of other... Uh, Couples that I knew that was together, and it's the same scenario. They they gon' they gonna put that work in if it's if it's war, if it's war they gonna put that work in. So that was a crazy situation though, man. But I I, I can remember that situation clear in my mind because I was right there. You know what I'm saying? And the reason what made me think about that story because the dude that I was right there with, I talked to him recently, and he said, "Do you remember?" <laughs> And I say, oh, yeah, no doubt, no doubt, I remember, you know, so, yeah, these be like, just like crazy things that happen, man, that you just don't ever forget, and like I say, this is on a Saturday morning on the yard, you know, everybody going out there, man, trying to get some wreck, trying to get some sun, trying to get some fresh air, and we ended up, um, you know, witnessing a whole semi 
small melee, you know what I'm saying, between four people. But really, it was between two boys and one Bethlehem. <laughs> you did? It was two boys, but one had the Bethlehem. And um, then the other dudes got involved, and um, that's usually what's going to happen. But it's been scenarios like that that turned out a lot worse, man. And it all could have been avoided, but... You know, you got to look at where we at. We're in the penitentiary. This is the lifestyle. This is the lifestyle that they chose to live in. And that's what come with it. You know, so I'm quite sure that they knew that that was a possibility when they got into doing what they was doing. I'm quite sure they figured that it was a possibility when they seen both of their peoples arguing with each other. I don't know if they ever talked behind the scenes or not. Like, look, man, get your people in order. Get your people in order. I don't know if they had that conversation. Obviously, if they did have that conversation, it did not work. Because that morning, it all came to a head. And with the boy doing walking around with the Bethlehem on him, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because if he got caught with it, he was going to jail anyway. So, crazy scenario, uh, wild situation, man. I just wanted to, you know, tell y'all about that, man. This is just bottom line, man. This is, this is the type of stuff you will be around. This is the type of stuff you don't want to be involved with. This is the type of stuff that goes on in prison. So, another reason out of however many number a gazillion number that for you never to go to prison man so you never be able to witness this you'll never be able to experience this the only way that you ever want to have knowledge of this type of uh, incident is by hearing it hear about it don't 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 be a part of it you know what i'm saying and the only way you can ensure that is stay free man stay out here in the real world man where you know what's going on took for the most part and you can control what's going on in prison you ain't gonna never know what's going on and you can't control none of it you just have to respond and react to it but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments man big love tvp nation stand up i appreciate the love i appreciate the support um stay tuned we got more to come some things that you may not have never seen on this channel before some things you may not have never seen on no channel before we're working on new and innovative ways to try to uh you know push this positive energy and let people know man the prison is the last place that you ever want to be on this planet why you are upright and why you are alive and um that is the message man stay free y'all be safe be smart make good decisions talk to me in the comments i talk back you might end up on the short y'all duck them <coughs> duck them hooks man they out there you don't want to be in there with that town foolery man peace <coughs>